Number 50. Suppose a 200 mm focal length telephoto lens is being used to photograph mountains 10 kilometers away. Letter A. Where is the image? All right. So, uh, you know, you can draw yourself a little picture, right? Here's the lens. Okay. Let's assume then that the, well, not assume, I mean, it's telling us, right? We got these mountains. So just draw a little up arrow to represent the mountains. It doesn't really make a difference. We know that this object, the, uh, the, the mountains are real, right? So that's the object. Uh, this is 10 kilometers away, all right, or 1,000 meters. Let's just convert everything, all right? They also give you the focal length. They give it to you in millimeters, right? And once I start seeing units all over the place, I just say to myself, let's just convert it all to meters. So 0.2, all right, meters. And it wants to know where's the image. So basically what I want to do is use now my thin lens equation because it the thin lens equation relates the variables all three together. It says one over the object distance plus one over the image distance will equal then one over the focal length. Okay, so if I want to solve this for the image distance, which is basically what they're asking us, where is the image? All right, so you subtract this term on over to the right hand side, and then all you're going to do is do a cross multiplication. This whole denominator comes out. This is really all like over one if you really think about it, right? So that's why I'm bringing this whole thing on down. Okay, so we bring that whole thing on down. And we clean it up just ever so slightly. I'm just going to rewrite that. And there's the formula. That's it. All right. And now this is going to be basically 1 divided by 1 over the focal length of 0.2 minus now 1 over the 10,000. Okay. So 1 divided by now. Um, well, sorry. Let's do the denominator first. 1 divided by 0.2 minus then 1 divided by 10,000. All right, and then one divided by then that value, hmm, it's about, it's basically right what? 0, 0.0, excuse me, 0 0.2, right? 0, 0 uh, meters. Now notice what happens to the image distance as the object distance goes up and up and up here. It goes up and up and up. This whole term basically goes to Zippo, and therefore the image distance is going to basically be equal to the focal length. All right. So anyway, um, that is the image distance. All right. So that tells me that it's positive. So I know then that the image is going to be on the opposite side of the lens. Okay. It's going to be on the opposite side. And it tells me that it's going to be 0.2 meters. Okay. It's probably also going to be inverted as well. Okay. Probably a little smaller. You might start to be detecting some patterns. So this is 0 0.0. So let's do 0 0.200 0 0 meters. Okay, that's the image distance. So it says then, and we can kind of, you know, in terms of the inversion, right? I can do the magnification formula and kind of show that then if I want, right? It'd be negative one over di over do is equal to the magnification, and then this is then negative 0.2 divided by the object is 10,000 right meters away. So this is then negative that value divided by 10,000. So this gets really, really tiny. Okay, so negative two times 10, um, uh, who cares about six figs right now? 10, 10 to the minus five. So this negative sign tells us that it is inverted. Okay, but we kind of knew that already. So anyway, uh, it says now, what is the height of the image? Okay. So what is the height of the image? Okay, what is the height of the image of a 1,000 meter high cliff on one of the mountains? So we're going to assume that it's still the 10 kilometers away. All right, and what I'm going to do now is uh, do the calculation up here. All right, so we'll put it in blue. So this is for letter B. So we can now use this left hand. Actually, well, we can basically, we already found the magnification. So we can do this in a whole bunch of ways, but maybe what I'll do is I'll do hi over ho meaning the image height divided by the object height will be equal to the negative the image uh, distance divided by the object distance now they're asking us what is the height of the image so they're asking us for this right height of the image so simply just take this value cross multiply it on out and now we have our formula here right for image height so all we now need to do is basically do a little plug-in right so this is negative now di we already calculated di it's 0.2 HO, they told us it's a thousand meters. Notice all the units are consistent. And then divide that now by the object, right? And that's going to be a 10,000. 
No, 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 no. That's going to be... Wait, wait, wait. Sorry. The dog's barking in the background. No, it is. Yes. The, okay, 1,000. Sorry. Oh, uh, no, no. 10,000. 10,000. Okay. There we go. So now uh, take negative 0.2 times 1,000 and then divide that then by 10,000. So it's going to be the image height now here is going to be, and this is all kind of in the way a little bit. So let's see if I can just bring this down a tad. All right. So there's going to be negative 0 0.02, I guess 0, 00, maybe whatever, meters. Okay. So that works out to be about negative 2 centimeters. The negative is also telling us the direction that is pointing down. So the height of this thing is going to be 0 0.02 inverted. Okay. Meters. Um, so that's kind of interesting, right? The, the height over here was 1,000, 1,000 meters. We compress that on down into basically two centimeters. So anyway, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please help us out by subscribing if you can and liking. All right. That really helps us out tremendously. Um, and yeah, we appreciate it if you can. Thank you so very much.